like everyone to the point and click community for people like me with no to limited IT experience. Now today, actually I wanted to make a video of another upgrade from a Windows 10 to a Windows 11 on my workstation. And um, this is my production workstation, but I decided not to. So we are doing just the hardware upgrade and this is for people who never had a computer open. And you will see, I had mine open because my computer is an utter mess. It's just held together by duct tape. Well, not real duct tape, it's more like Velcro, but I just throw the stuff in. I want to stress again, this is not for IT professionals. This is for people like me with absolutely no computer experience. So, let's get started. We are changing out a secondary hard drive, not even the main drive. We don't do imaging, we will do that. Uh, other time and we change out our graphic card don't expect it to be a high-end graphic card I'm talking not on RTX 380 I'm talking about changing out my GT 620 for GT 710 that's all I can find here in the IT room because it's a corporate environment all the drives in this machines are SSDs so I'm just gonna look real quick which is the smallest one that's what is the one I exchanged for that one terabyte EVO I have here so I just opened my file manager and as you can see here this is my main drive where the operating system sits on and here we have it that's the drive we need to exchange I already have some Samsung EVOs in there so let's check the magician real quick and here's the drive what I want to exchange and this is not a Samsung drive so yes it needs to go even there is not much data on it currently i use it to temporarily have files on it but it's getting too small so we just change it out let's open that box and find that drive on this machine here we don't even need a screwdriver we just unlock it and pull that cover off and there you have it now yes you can see there is no CD-ROM or DVD-ROM in here anymore. I just threw the drives in. Like I said, it's an utter mess, but it is my mess, right? And that's why you cannot get me nice things because of that, you see it. Now, because of that, we have to get this two Samsung EVO out of the way. We are still looking for that PNY drive. So I think we need to remove the cradle too. For that, I have to just snap off the front part here and still no tools required and then there is that blue thing down there you just unlock the cradle just be careful that you don't pinch any wires and then you lift the cradle out and that's about it and in there is that drive what I'm looking for light you see like I mentioned, a other mess, it's not even screwed in, it's just velcroed in down there. Here is my replacement SSD, but I think because we have now plenty of room in this PC, it's easier to change the graphic card first before we install the new SSD. So let's do the graphic card because the SSD is two wires. Just stick on two wires and Velcro it back in to remove this graphic card. It's real easy. Even we can do it. We just open the lever here and uh, pull the card out. Now this is a low profile case. So the graphic card actually occupies two slots because of the connectors. So we got to remove both of them. And then just see that the new graphic card, we hope it comes with that low profile brackets. The low profile packets are included in the box. That's real nice of them. Let's just install them real quick and then slip that graphic card back into the case. We only need a small socket and a screwdriver to get this bracket off and then we just Put the other bracket on.
Now we mount the VGA connector to the second bracket and we are all done. Now we can install the graphic card back in, put the SSD in there and just connect the two wires and close the case and let's see what is happening when we boot that system up. Just make sure when you stick the graphic card back in that it is correctly seated in the slot. And we close that little lever and we are done and exchange the hard drive, these two wires or SSD in this case. So we have that new SSD in there and close the case up and be done with it. Now let's boot the system. When we look now at our file manager, we don't see the disk. So all we have to do is going into our disk management, just type disk management. Everything went right, it automatically finds the disk. So we got to initialize the disk first. I select my partition table and initialize that disk. Now we create a volume on this disk and I right click on it and select simple volume. There are a lot of options that's not I'm gonna go into it because we are point and click community. Now we click next, next and give it a drive letter. That's the drive letter. The other disk had what I replaced and that's actually it. So I click next on this one and I can give it a name. Now I make sure my quick format is checked and then click next and finish. And that's all. And the new disk shows automatically up. And here it is. Now, if you had some data on that other drive, you can put it in an external USB enclosure and then just copy it over to the new disk. Or you can restore it from a backup if you had a backup of that disk. Now let's have a look at the Samsung Magician because it's a Samsung EVO. So we just take a look at it and see if we need to do anything else. So over provisioning is already enabled. Next I able the trim status. I don't go into it too much. Rapid status I cannot enable because the rapid mode is already configured on my main drive and you can have it only on one drive. So that's it. Now we have one more thing to do, installing the newest graphic driver for the card we just installed and then we are done with it and it's real easy you go to the website and download the driver for your card and then just click the install and it's doing most of it by itself after the driver is installed you probably have to restart the system and you're good to go And that's it. Thank you for watching all the way to the end again. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, actually all the subscribers I have. It helps this little channel a lot. If you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that like button on this video. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm to push my channel a little bit further out to other people to see. Thank you so much and you all have a great week.